So I think I found the error on my vertical. Uh, when I turned the vertical knob, it didn't do anything. So I'm in here with the switch. There's all of these cams that press on these things. And I was, that's covered up with metal, so I couldn't see it rotating. But the back has a wafer switch on it. Anyway, when I turn the knob, it goes click, 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 but nothing moves in the chain. It's like the shaft is broken right, right at the beginning. Uh, so these things don't change at all. So that's why it's stuck on just one range and I can't get it off of any other range. So I'm going to have to go in there and figure out what's, what the shaft, how the shaft is constructed mechanically, learn how to take it apart and stuff. I'm going to have to take all of the, all of the wires off of this thing, get it onto the bench. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit of work. All right. I got it out. Um, Everything is on uh, pins here. I got. I took a lot of pictures, making sure I can get them back in the right spot. And then uh, there's four, four solder connections on the back here with pretty short wires, so that was kind of hard to get out of there. Anyway, this is it. There's these uh, fancy resistors here on the back, and then these wafer switches. Or not wafer. These are the gold contacts to PC board. And for, I first was looking at this in the back and when I rotated the knob, that didn't turn. I thought, oh, maybe it's broken here or something. And then I opened it up and I noticed that none of the wafers turn when I do this, just this little click click here thing. Um, so that's not good. There must be a shaft that runs through here that has taken itself apart. So let's see if I can take this front part off here. All right, what is this gonna do? Oh, there's a pin, pin through the board down here. Hmm. What I'm worried about is these little wafers all just coming apart. I think it's one, one piece of plastic though. I think so. I'm not gonna take these off, I'm just gonna loosen them. Maybe that will, there we go. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Ah, interesting. Oh, look at that. So if you, this is a hollow, a hollow tube. So this is one piece. And if I rotate it, they, they both rotate and the switch in the back rotates it. So the only thing that's not working is this thing mating with that thing. Well, that's just it's like super glue and I'm done. That's pretty cool. I have to get the uh, phasing right, but uh, this thing's just going around and this thing's just turning and it's turning very easily. And the, uh, yeah, let me figure out what to do here. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I think I'll, I'll, glue it while it's together. Hmm. I gotta figure out how to phase it though. Oh dear. It's not obvious how it phases. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Maybe the little switch in the back will give me a clue. Yeah, maybe. Oh, there we go. Does it go all the way around? Yeah, it goes all the way around. But maybe from that back end there I can I can learn the phasing. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's not trivial. Now, does it matter? Yeah, because this stops. This stops. I think if it just goes round and round and round, I'll just phase it using the knob, but it does stop part way through. Oh, and there's a, there's a big gap here. Maybe that's the stop. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think that's probably the stop. This is probably one end of the one end of the phase here. And then 
and that would be the right hand edge. And then all the way around would be the left hand edge. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You see my dilemma, right? If I put glue on this thing and shove it in there, it might be wrong. Oh dear. Anyway, let me think about this. All right, so we have, a, we have a diode in here. We're curve tracing. Look at this. I can change the amplitude of the vertical now. Yay. I can make it small. I can make it big. I can make the horizontal small. I'll make it big. So well, that is all working now. Yay. Um, I don't know if I can test a transistor yet or not. That, <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to work on, I'll have to work on that one. All right, there we go. We have a, uh, a PNP in the socket and we have a, uh, a curve trace. We can change the um, step amplitude, which is what this does. We can change the horizontal amplitude, which is what this one does. Change the vertical amplitude, which is what this one does. We can change the load resistor, which is what this one does. Uh, we can change the collector voltage, which is what that one does. Let's move this one back out. Move the voltage up to 15 volts. There we go. Not very nice. Let's see, oops. And then every once in a while, it just goes haywire. And you have to flip that switch and it gets it better again. I don't know why. Yep, see that? I, there's some something weird in there that I can kind of like get it better. Uh, get it nice and focused. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So I have a curve tracer. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So once I found out the tube worked, I could get it going. Now, the one thing that doesn't work is this display. This is a... Um, display that tells you what all these things are. Now, it's not necessary. You can just read it off these things, but it is nice to have it here. Oops, see, there's that funniness, funniness going again. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, here's a, this is a transistor over here, diode over here. So we go over to diode. We say, oh, we're up too high. So we can bring that back down on the screen and we can say, oh, we need more resolution in, in uh, horizontal. There we go. And then we can zoom up and down Zoom up and down the curve there. So, hey, this is working. This is working so good. Uh, let's see here. Let's make this bigger. Let's make this smaller. And let's fiddle this till it works. There we go. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, what I need to do is wait for some of my sockets now. And I'll be done with this project. I like it. Uh oh, it's going funny.